Hi everyone, welcome to the first update of July. The month has changed but the market mood remains same. The bulls are continuing from where they left in June. Today there was a rotation of the bulls though, Reliance corrected a bit. However, IT and banks resumed the bull run, TCS up, HDFC up, ATL joined the party towards the end, ICICI up, Infosys, HUL also significantly up. It's 7 o'clock right now, FIDII data is not yet out. My guess is that there would be heavy buying by DIAs today. Probably they would have got fresh funds for the month. Significant people get their salaries on the last working day and the money would have got deployed probably today itself. I'm not too sure if FIS would have done net buying, they might have been sellers only. I mentioned this fact in the context of results. GST collections rose nearly 8% year on year. Now April was a high, May was lower than April, June was nearly equal to April. However, since those numbers are not looking as pretty, so now we chose to report them as year on year, not quarter on quarter numbers. This is the same thing which will happen when results are reported for companies. The portals will report some numbers as Q on Q, some numbers as Y on Y. You will not be able to guess the reason. However, you can probably assume that the Q on Q number, if it is not reported, is either bad or good and vice versa. So do look at both numbers before taking a call for a buy or sell. Nifty up today 0.6%, Bank Nifty up 0.45%, Nifty IT was a rockstar sector today 1.97% up, Nifty Energy took a break down 0.53%, yesterday Nasdaq closed 0.75% down, nearly all stocks were down, gold today is up a bit, silver is up, Bitcoin is continuing to sulk, rupee weakened a little, crude also weakened a bit. Bitcoin's graph is showing a bit of recovery. This will depend a lot upon how the presidential debates in US go. The previous week was clearly won by Donald Trump. Today's sector of the day, IT sector a big plus, persistent up another 6%. It is now nearly at 52 week high. The big boys TCS Infosys were up a lot. Wipro has been re-rated 2.5% up. This may go up further. Wipro is not very far off from 52 week high. In fact, it is closer than TCS, Infosys and HCL, all three of them. Zomato crossed double century mark today, 203. This is a psychological barrier. Now the stock may get further re-rated and go up further. Right now, people are not caring for the PE at all for Zomato. Energy sector was down a lot today, both the energy producers as well as the oil companies. NTPC led the downfall, 2.27% down. JSW Energy was up, but nearly each and every stock was down. Reliance, the minus number seems very small, but for a company of size of Reliance, this cut means a lot for Nifty. IOC was up a bit. Castrol was up 8%. Banks were mixed back. How the top two banks were up a lot, HDFC and ICICI. SBI, though it got a new chief today, however, it was still down a percent. Overall, the sector was up half a percent. Now, suddenly, this line is get looking a little better. The stocks are moving closer to 52 week highs. Sector snapshot, market breadth was good today, 27 sectors up compared to 20 on Friday. The best contribution came from software, 32%, followed by banking, construction materials, aerospace and defense. What was pulling indices down? Electrical utilities, oil and gas. Maximum change was in construction materials up 2.5%. Let's go through the key sectors, aerospace and defense. GRSE got a new order yet again, 10% up. Every stock, including the big boy HL was up anywhere between 1 to 2%. The sector was up 2%. Automobiles up a lot, 0.65%. Construction engineering was down. Both big boys LNT and RVNL were down. So the sector was down half a percent. Cement was rocking yet again, led by Ultratech 2%. Patanjali was up more than 5% for the third day out of last four. The sector was up 1%. All the big boys, ITC, Nestle, they did pretty well. Insurance up a lot, 1%. Investment banking is a mixed bag. HDFC and Nippon were up. Motila Oswal down 3.75%. Siemens ABB up. So machinery and equipment pack was up a lot, 0.8%. Metals mixed bag. Hindustan Zinc was down, but the steel stocks were up. The consumption pack was up a lot, 1.5% today. Significant buying happened in nearly all stocks. Pharma mixed bag, real estate also mixed bag, minus 0.1%, negligible changes. 
टेलीकॉम सेक्टर एक्चुअली डज नॉट मीन मच विदाउट जियो बींग प्रेजेंट है हाउ एवर एयरटेल वॉज अप वोडाफोन वॉज डाउन द सेक्टर वॉज अप पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट निफ्टी फिफ्टी टूडे मैक्सिम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन केम फ्रॉम टी सी एस एच डी एफ सी बैंक बजाज फाइनेंस इन्फोसिस आई सी आई सी आई ऑल द बिग बॉयज लेट फ्रॉम द फ्रंट एक्सेप्ट एन टी पी सी रिलायंस एस बी आई एल एन टी विच वर ड्रैगिंग द इंडाइज डाउन सेवरल स्टॉक्स हैड लो वॉल्यूम्स इंक्लूडिंग रिलायंस इंडस्ट्री विच हैड हाफ ऑफ द यूजल वॉल्यूम्स मोस्ट स्टॉक्स हैड एवरेज और बिलो एवरेज वॉल्यूम्स ओवरऑल सेवनटीन स्टॉक्स डाउन थर्टी थ्री अप ट्वेंटी नाइन आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी स्टॉक्स आर इन द एटी टू हंड्रेड परसेंट जोन नाउ एशियन पेंट्स एंड आई टी सी आर द वर्स्ट लेगार्ड राइट नाउ इन द निफ्टी फिफ्टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रॉक्सिमिटी टू फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन स्टॉक्स डाउन थर्टी फाइव अप मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉप प्लेयर्स वर अप वॉल्यूम्स और एवरेज इन निफ्टी नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी ऑल्सो मोस्ट स्टॉक्स हैड लो वॉल्यूम्स और एवरेज वॉल्यूम्स द बेस्ट परफॉर्मर टूडे वॉज अंबुजा मदरसन सोमी बजाज होल्डिंग्स एच ए एल वेदांता वरुण बेवरेजेस पिडिलाइट टाटा पावर बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा वर ट्राइंग टू ट्रैक द इंडाइज डाउन माय पोर्टफोलियो चेंजेस टुडे आई बॉट अ बिट मोर ऑफ सैटिन एंड मास फाइनेंशियल्स आई ऑलरेडी हैव रीजनेबल क्वांटिटी बट द होल्डिंग प्राइसेस वर हाई सो एवरेज लोअर इन वन ऑफ माय पोर्टफोलियोज आई हैड बॉट जी फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म आई थॉट आई सेल इट आफ्टर टू थ्री ईयर्स बट द गेन्स वर नियरली हंड्रेड परसेंट सिंस आई बॉट इट ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ जून सो आई गॉट रेड ऑफ द कम्प्लीट पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ जी आर एस सी टूडे आई ऑल्सो सोल्ड सम मोर स्टॉक्स भारत डायनेमिक्स पावर फाइनेंस डेटा पैटर्न एच ए एल मसगांव डॉक आई सी आई सी आई बैंक बी पी सी एल मोतीलाल मोतीलाल आई सोल्ड आउट ऑफ फ्रस्ट्रेशन आई सॉ दिस प्रॉफिट एट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ऑन द बोनस डे बिकॉज द वे स्टॉक मार्केट वर्क द बोनस वॉज नॉट क्रेडिटेड द एंटायर गेन्स वर गॉन एंड मोतीलाल हैज बीन फॉलोइंग एवर सिंस द स्टॉक्स वर क्रेडिट टू द अकाउंट सिमिलरली बी पी सी एल ऑल्सो आई हेड बॉट फॉर बोनस रीजन इट वॉज फॉलोइंग एवर सिंस द बोनस डे हैपेंड एक्स बोनस डेट द लॉसेज वर ऑलरेडी इलेवन थाउजेंड so i got rid of what i had in the portfolio another 1000 are on the way probably they will come after a week maybe but still overall the profit booked was 1 lakh 10000 the amount freed up was around 31 lakh this is approximately a gain of 3.5% if you account for brokerages then maybe 3% approximately in less than a month which is a decent gain i am happy with the amount grs obviously is extra that's nearly 100% gain in less than a month There was nothing special in the chart for Nifty. If you are an investor, the indices just kept going up, and then towards the end it booked profits. Graph-wise, there is an interesting pattern I want to show. So there are times of the day when stocks are working in different directions. Reliance going up, ICICI going down, Infosys going down, TCS going down. HDFC was up whole day nearly. SBI down, up, ITC down. so what was happening in the day was whenever basically nifty was trying to go significantly up or go significantly down there were alternate stocks which are going up or down they were maintaining nifty in a very tight range of around 0.4 to 0.6% so if you are sitting from outside not observing these changes you would feel that it is an average way where nothing is going anywhere however there was lot of volatility the volatility was being averaged out continuously in coordinated moves like i say so if you for example just draw a line here so reliance came down consolidated but icici went up similarly here airtel was going down but hul was going up tcs here was going up sbi was going down so there was selective profit booking at various times of the day in various stocks but the other stocks would take care of holding the nifty together bank nifty actually was not very volatile today minor blip here but then it went up and was in a very tight range vix kept on correcting throughout the day defense chart select stocks went up towards the end of the day hl went up bl went up pdl went up grsc obviously after the announcement of the new order was up whole day masgaon dock also the gains were not very high but it kept the gains from the initial part of the day for most of the day this is the open interest chart for nifty for the 4th of july series as per my understanding of this chart nifty has a very big range of 24000 to 25000 right now the support is immediately just 125 points down from where we are right now the resistance the stiff one is at 25000 there is resistance here also around 24700 However, the stiff resistance or the big resistance is around three percent away. My FNO positions were mixed back today. Nifty shows a profit of seventy four five fifty four. However, there was one position which went terribly wrong, and I could not rescue it throughout the day. The ten thousand part of this loss is already booked, so tomorrow it will be opening with about one thousand loss. That too with five lots only. 
so this is the part where i took the position approximately 11 15 after that nifty just kept creating higher tops higher bottoms so the position kept on getting worse and worse and worse towards end the loss recovered a little and i booked the losses and came out the remaining position of reliance from friday i took another short position today there was a minor profit there overall i booked 800 rupee loss on reliance this is in addition to around 7500 booked last week so the overall strategy for reliance for shorting it when it went up very high on thursday didn't work at all good learning one interesting thing i have done in line with my conviction one interesting thing i have done in line with my conviction i have taken a short position but that is in 29th august series which is august end 10 lot short i will probably lose 13000 in the worst case so if the market say fall about 10% by that time there will be a profit of 1 lakh which is a good risk reward ratio i'll probably not wait that long if the markets fall somewhere around here maybe around say 3 or 4% there will be still profit around 7 8000 here so i'll book the profit if there's a decent percentage available but i do expect significant correction post budget because markets will run out of news completely once results and budgets are over a small mechanism to track my profits and losses so i've started with profit on options and profit on cash positions for the month let's see if we can have a green month overall markets are looking more and more crazy to me to preserve my original capital i took a lot of profit off and freed up my cash i'll continue to trade i'll continue to buy and sell however i'll be very picky about my stocks now also i might not hold stocks for long in terms of trading so my strategy will now adapt to market conditions but i don't intend to get into the result and budget season with 80 90 percent kind of portfolio investment i'll probably be mostly on 30 40 percent kind of investment only 50 percent on cash at least in, in my personal strategy if markets keep going up yes i'll not make money that's okay thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow